Hey folks, Ben the Man for Land here with Remax Property Pros. We've covered a couple spruces so far. Let's throw another one in the mix. The one we're going to talk about now is Norway spruce. Here we have a side-by-side -side comparison to Norway spruce, white spruce, black spruce. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and throw in that wild card, balsam. And if you remember, balsam has rounded needles. The spruces have sharp, pointy needles. If you look at the Norway side-by-side -side with the white spruce, you can see a difference. The main difference between white and Norway is the Norway spruce branches will hang. It kind of looks like a saggy, droopy tree, like it's sleepy or tired. So that's the main difference between uh, white and Norway. An interesting fact about Norway is that it doesn't even produce cones until it's an old, mature tree sometimes around 60 years old. So while other trees start producing seeds at a much younger age, Norway has to hang around a lot longer in order to reproduce. That's one of the reasons why we don't see a whole lot of Norways out in the woods. We tend to see them around old farmsteads and in uh, people's landscapes. Thanks for tuning in and learning a little bit more about Norway spruce. And remember, if you're thinking about jumping into the real estate market as a seller or a buyer, there's really only one call to make. My name's Ben, I'm your man for land and all things real estate. Whether you're looking for recreational land, uh, waterfront, farms, a country home, or even commercial, give me a call. My name's Ben. I'll be glad to serve you in Lincoln, Oneida, Vilas, Forest, or Price Counties.